I want to welcome everyone here tonight. We're here to talk about Cleveland County and our special teams here in Cleveland County. What we're looking at today is some of our equipment that we do for support to local and the regional operations of anybody that's out there utilizing any of the equipment. We've got everything from advanced hazardous or all hazards incident management team to our swift water, to the SMAT 3s, to collapse structure, to trench rescue, our search and rescue teams, our mass casualty incidences, our medical surge capabilities, our communications, and also our ambulance strike teams that we put together. Personal supplies, whenever we send somebody out on a mission, we always want to make sure that we've got enough stuff for everybody to go out there. We have showers complete with hot water. We have water coolers, hot and cold water, uh, MREs, heater mills, 50 cots, uh, several large sleeping tents, generators, and lighting. We can do about 30 personnel for approximately five days um, with not using anybody else's resources. Okay. I'm Dewey Cook, Cleveland County Emergency Management Director, Fire Marshal, and uh, of course our office uh, heads up the uh, specially trained team for uh, search and rescue. And uh, we have a lot of different people that is on our team. Uh, people from fire, rescue, EMS, uh, Rhino 120 GPS unit, and so that everybody's on the same channel when we're on the little radios out in the in the field. Uh, we set it on channel one, and we use code 20. That way, uh, uh, everyone knows uh, what uh, frequency we will we will be on. Hi, my name is Susan Ramsey. Uh, I'm in charge of communications equipment for the special teams, uh, most specifically the SMAT team, one of our 800 radios, uh, our new system that we went to. Uh, this is our 800 uh, walkie right here. We have an 800 mobile base station that we use in the communications trailer. This piece of equipment here is an ACU 1000 and it basically acts like a big switchboard and I can tie different radio frequencies and channels and to the same one so everybody can talk on the same uh, frequency while being on different channels. We have a VHF mobile right here. This is our VHF portables. We have little vertex radios. Uh, we're deployed out in the field. Um, all this equipment goes with us so we can have as many radios as possible for a uh, field unit. This radio in the silver box is our Smite Pack portable radio. Um, we operate off the of special frequency with it at uh, Med 8, Med 10. We also have the Viper channels in it also off the 800 system. and also have the Viper Medical Network in it where we can contact any hospital in the state. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Mary Beeson, and I'm here to talk to you about our medical surge trailer. Uh, medical surge is to assist the hospitals, healthcare system, anybody that's overwhelmed in a national disaster or terrorism attack. Uh, many of the uses of this trailer will be for uh, pandemic outbreaks, mass casualties, terrorist attacks, uh, in case of nursing home fire our hospital uh, fire or unstable structures. Uh, we supplement the current hospitals with surge and the ability to decon large masses of fuel. Uh, our trailer will house 150 cots that we already have, gloves, gowns, uh, any kind of disposable hospital supplies, bandages, Portable oxygen, we have the capability to put 50 people on a single trunking uh, network of oxygen. We also have 20 portable vents in case the power goes out or uh, you know people come in and need vents and can't get to the hospital. This is when hospitals or facilities are overwhelmed and people don't have anywhere to go. Okay. Hey, my name is Robin Mullinax. Uh, I'm with the Lincoln County EMS, and this is our SMAT-3 trailer. Uh, SMAT-3s are for, we assist in disaster area times, man-made or natural, uh, and we'll, we can respond anywhere in the state. This is a sink that we can use to wash our hands, wash dishes, or, uh, and we can have hot water. It heats its own water. It's got its own hot water heater in there. Fan that we can use uh, 
the, we put water in there and it'll mist out and give you out a cool mist of water. Uh, we use rehab. Here's a shower that we have two showers that we can hook hot water to and everybody can have a good clean shower. Uh, this is our Tykin suits, our suits that we use when we're using the decontent. And we have our Packer, a powered air respirator to, for to purify the air if we're in a toxic environment. Uh, this keeps the toxins off of us, the chemicals off of us. This is a, our hot water heater. It's, we use it uses diesel fuel, kerosene, or jet fuel. It's, it'll heat the water from up to 92 degrees, uh, and we just take the water out of a fire truck, hydrant, a water spigot, and then it'll, it'll power. We can use it to use it to dig on the tent. My name is uh, Jeff Cash. I'm uh, over the uh, PMS part of the search and rescue with Fire Brew uh, to try to keep it organized. Search and rescue uh, is uh, available for anyone that needs us in the county to come out and uh, help find uh, children, elderly people. This is uh, one of our search and rescue packs off the uh, trailer that we keep uh, stocked. It is a 24-hour pack. It's uh, enough uh, equipment in it to, uh, to help the uh, rescuer uh, for stay out uh, for about 24 hours. Uh, we also have the uh, camel packs for everyone, a uh, water source for the rescuer that we carry on our persons. And we also keep a walking stick on the trucks for anyone that might need those if we're in the terrain that we may need those. Also, we have the uh, communications between the rescuers that everyone can that everyone can uh, use out on the scene. Uh, also, keep some tying up our channels uh, for rescuers to be able to talk back and forth uh, while they're out doing a search. I'm Barry Hughes. I'm with the Clinton County USAR team, City of Shelby Fire Department. Water rescue team. Uh, we're over at Station Two, and we have uh, two, actually three boats. One's a John boat, but uh, two Swift Water boats. We have a we have a, a six-man raft here, blow-up inflatable raft, uh, paddle powered, and a uh, Johnson Rescue Pro motor on this uh, Zodiac right here that's available uh, to anybody in the county. We also have a John boat with a Johnson uh, motor on it. It's not all that stable in uh, moving water, but any type of pond or lake rescue, uh, uh, Mr. John Buggy is also available. Uh, this is our Swift Water Trailer, uh, Cleveland County Use Our Swift Water Trailer. It's a, uh, equipped with uh, most of the things that we need to do any type of water rescue. We have uh, dry suits that the guys wear, and of course, boots. Personal flotation device, rescuer, VFD. Uh, we all have throw bags and helmets. And then we have all the rigging and the ropes that we need to do any type of uh, rescue, whether it be high angle above water or any type of water rescue where we need to set up any rigging.